Okay, so now that we've pulled in some loops into our session, we can start doing some basic audio editing. So, right now we have these two regions. The Rhodes track, or the electric piano track, is four bars long, and the drum track is two bars long. So, there's a lot of basic controls, basic editing functions that we can do by simply selecting one of these regions and going to the edit menu. Okay, so what the edit, the way the edit menu works is basically it is going to do this function to whatever is selected. Okay, so we can cut it, copy it. Obviously, there's nothing on the clipboard, so we can't paste anything. Clear is the same as delete, and you can see that we have these key commands that correspond. Okay, duplicate, which is Command D or Control D on a Windows system, which you're going to find is very useful when working with loops. Repeat, which is very useful as well, a little different, okay? And then we have great things like separate region, consolidate, mute, very useful in loops as well. Okay, so let's start by doing some of these. First, Command-D, duplicate. Notice what happens, hit R a couple times to zoom out. It's just going to take and copy and paste the region right after itself. Now, the key for this working is that the selection is a complete a complete bar or complete two bars it's like an even amount okay so if my selection for some reason was let's just make it um, 100 ticks in addition to that now as I duplicate you'll notice if I play this region right here you see how the start of it is actually like in the second beat Okay, so it's off and there's a gap there you can hear. Okay, so you've got to make sure, I'm going to hit and undo, Command Z, okay? You've got to make sure that your selection before you start duplicating it or repeating it is, is the length that you want it to be, which is exactly two bars or exactly two beats or, or two bars and two beats or three beats or whatever, okay? But it, it, it needs to be even like that, or else you're going to have those issues where it drifts off, okay? So I hit Command-D. That's nice and easy. Just copies and pastes it right after itself. Hit Undo for that, okay? Or that other option was Repeat, Option-R, which is also Alt-R on a Windows system. And this time, instead of hitting Command-D over and over again, I can simply type in there, I want there to be 10 repeats. And it's the same as if I hit Command-D 10 times, okay? So if you want it to repeat 100 times, it's a little easier to do repeat and type in 100 than hit Command-D 100 times, okay? Now the same thing, of course, works with my 4-bar region, Command-D, okay? Or I could use these other functions, like Copy, and then click somewhere else and hit Paste, okay? And you'll notice that... I can take and move that around. And because I am in grid mode, it's pretty easy to get this moved around to be in the correct spot. Okay, so I've hit return. Okay, so I can go through here and have my, my Nice little part looping. Now, we don't have to loop entire regions. We can loop a portion of a region if we want. So let's say I just want this first half of the electric piano track to repeat a couple times, and then the second half will happen. So I can just select the first half, make sure I've selected just two, two measures. Maybe if I accidentally had selected a little less, you know, one bar, three beats, and, and half of a quarter note, then it's going to... Uh, it's not going to loop properly, okay, and it won't be on, okay? So I make sure I have my two-bar loop, hit Command-D, and now we've got this great. It does the same three theme three times.
Okay, so then you've got that little turnaround that happens after the fourth repetition instead of after the second. Okay, so there's a lot of great stuff you can do there. Okay, in addition, we could have just, we could, we could have done this a different way. There's always a different way to do it. So let's go ahead and hit undo. And we're going to do the same thing, make that selection. And remember, this is using the smart tool we talked about before. Okay, so when we're at the top half of the track, we've got our selector tool. The bottom half is the grabber. And at the right or left, we've got our trim tool. Okay, so if I make that selection with my selector tool, I can, I can make that into its own region. And I do that by telling it to separate the region. Okay, so separate region, add selection, Command-E. Okay, so now I've got a separate region there. So if I wanted to, I could take this and move it over here or whatever. If I wanted to make sure it stayed here and I made a duplicate over here, I could hold the Option key, click and drag it with the, dra the grabber tool. And now I have that exact same region duplicated. So it's just another way of duplicating the region, but it gives me a lot more flexibility. When I'm duplicating, it's going to stick it right afterwards. Maybe I want to stick it halfway between a region or something like that. Okay, hitting undo there. Okay, so there's a lot of flexibility with that. Okay, I can, I can make my selections across multiple tracks. I can hit delete. Okay, if I want to, I can say, you know what, I want this one region in the drums. I could delete it, hit the delete key, or undo there. Hit command M, if you remember what command M was in the edit menu. That is mute regions, okay, which is very, use when, very useful when you're doing this kind of composition with loops because sometimes you want things to drop out, okay? Okay, you can see the waveforms are still there, but it doesn't play. Okay, very useful because then maybe a little later you decide you want it back or you want half of it back and it's still there. Hit Command M once again and it's back. Okay, so a lot of great editing tools there. And you notice that because we are in grid mode, as we make our selections, we are kind of locked into the grid there. Okay, so I can take a lot of these things and I could... I could take and duplicate just one little guy there, one little. Okay, and if I did my timing just right. Okay, I can make it, tweak it a little bit. Okay, I can do the same thing by using that other tool that we talked about, that other technique, holding option and dragging something. Okay, and I could throw that same beat. Okay, maybe kind of crazy, maybe not. Okay, and then let's say I want to drag this over, but I say, you know what, I want this to hit right here. Okay, and so that's when I can go into slip mode. And now in slip mode, I'm not locked by the, the grid. Okay, so now I can move this region wherever I want. Okay, whereas when I was in grid, it has to move on those grid value lines. Okay, so if I go back to slip, I can move it around there. Okay, or one thing I really like to do is if you're in grid mode and you just are in grid mode all the time, if you hold the control key on Mac or the Windows key on Windows, you can temporarily suspend grid mode. I'm oh, sorry about that. The command key on Mac and the control key on Windows got it backwards there. Okay, and that will temporarily suspend grid mode and put you into slip mode. Okay, so you can do the same thing without having to go there and switch everything. We'll get into what control does, which is a lot of great stuff as well. Okay, so let's back this up and listen to it. <laughs> kind of crazy, but you can see the power there, okay? So not only can we do this same kind of thing 
to the the electric piano track, but we can do this to the drum track as well. We can take kick hits and, and snare hits and hi-hats and stuff like that and change the drum pattern around to whatever we want it to do. We just use this exact same technique. And one of the, th the ways that makes this really cool, one of the tools that we have helps us out, is that same separate region, but this time, because we have a whole region selected, it gives us these other options. If we separate it on the grid, we'll just leave that at zero right now, what it's going to actually do is it just chops it all up. So now we can take and move the different parts around. We don't have to go and separate them ourselves. So if we wanted to, hold Option, you know, we can take certain parts and let's solo that. Okay, and we could just uh, maybe take this crazy little pattern. Okay, and then you throw it in there with everything else, and it sounds like he's just changing up the, the groove for a second. Okay, so there's there's an amazing amount of power with what you can do with audio editing because anything can be moved around, anything can be switched anywhere you want it to be. Okay? And so finally, I want to show you the trim tool tool real quick. That's the, the third part of the smart tool. And basically what the trim tool does is it shows or hides more or less of the region. So you see that there's just come some empty space there and I can just move it out of the way. Maybe I want to actually not have that start note hit. Okay, so I can get rid of it, but it's not totally gone. I can bring it back anytime I want because I'm just showing or hiding more more or less of that original file. Okay? So if I if I trim it away, it's still there in the background and I can come back and get it anytime I want. Okay? And the same thing works if I duplicate it. If I take this, I'm just option, click and drag it somewhere else. Move it somewhere else, I can bring that back and I can bring back all that information connected to that file. Okay, because it's not actually taking and you know ripping part of the file away. It's actually just saying we're gonna just look at a portion of the file right now. Okay? So start playing with this and start playing with these loops and just messing around with all the audio editing you can do and you can see there's just amazing power with how you can change these around and the cool little things you can do. And of course if you feel limited by the grid, you can change the grid. Right now I've been working on eighth notes, but if you want higher resolution, you can go to sixteenth notes, thirty second notes, or you can have less resolution to move things around in bigger chunks, quarter notes, half notes, etc. Okay? So go ahead and play around with that and feel the power of it. So that's some audio editing with loops.